So I'm here today at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So as you guys know, doing space stuff is really difficult. So the recent incident by a private space company trying to get supplies to the International Space Station serves as a reminder that there is nothing routine about pushing the limits of mankind. So to help alleviate some of that stress here at NASA, they hold a pumpkin carving contest every Halloween. And let me just preempt the super witty comments about your tax dollars at work by saying they only have one hour to do everything you're about to see, and all of the pumpkins and the supplies are always purchased with their own money. These guys are some of the most brilliant and hardworking people I've ever met. So enjoy their awesomeness. Team bonding, have some fun. Oh, on your mark, get set, carve! We have a uh, webcam which goes over the computer, which processes the image and tracks where your face is, and the eye follows along using two servo motors to control the two axes. And that allows a full range of eye motion. I said before, what makes NASA really great aren't its robots, it's the people who build them. And I know this because I got to work with most of the pumpkin carvers you saw in this video for nine years working on the Curiosity rover, which safely landed on Mars two years ago. I recently listened to the audiobook Failure is Not an Option, and it tells the incredible story of the early days of NASA, and how insane it was that a bunch of nerds with slide rules in just eight years could enable the first human being ever to stand firmly on something other than our planet. So if you want to listen to this audiobook for free, Audible has been kind enough to sponsor my channel, so you can use the link in the description or go to audible.com slash Mark Rover. And I know they're not new, but I first tried audiobooks about a year ago, long before Audible approached me, just because I felt like I didn't have any more time to read. And now in the past year, I have consumed more books than I have in the previous 10, just because I multitask and I listen while in the car or work around the house or exercising. And I know that sounds obvious, but it's just one of those things you don't truly appreciate until you actually try it out. So you can get the NASA book I told you about or any book you want for free to try it out using the link in the description or audible.com slash Mark Rover. Plus, I truly appreciate it because it helps me out and I have a notebook full of future ideas for videos and your support helps make them reality. And with that, I will leave you with the words of Carl Sagan about the impact NASA has had on humankind. Apollo conveyed a confidence, energy, and breadth of vision that did capture the imagination of the world. It inspired an optimism about technology and enthusiasm for the future. 
we could fly to the moon, as so many have asked, what else were we capable of? Yeah.